<laughs> yeah, spicy. Hey, that's way easier than the way we did it. Yeah, right? So funny story, I got all my new uh, if the stickers registration for both trucks and yes, I'm putting a sticker over a sticker because it's really cold and I don't want to try to peel stickers off right now. But uh, I just spent a half hour on the phone with the DOT, Commerce Compliance Division, whatever, um, because they took all the stickers and they just put them in like one little plastic baggie and sent them to me. And so I was like, oh, I'll put my stickers on and I realized they're all individually numbered. And I can't find any of my paperwork that says which numbered stickers go on which trucks. I didn't want to get confused and put the wrong sticker on the wrong trucks because we're going through scales today and then get pulled over for swapping registrations or whatever. I spent a half hour on the phone. Ethan was here waiting in the cold while I sat on the phone and uh, figure out which stickers go on which trucks because, you know, they're numbered. You know what the lady told me? She goes, oh, that doesn't matter. That's just our inventory number. Put them on whatever trucks. Yeah, so now that that's done, uh, what we're doing today, we got to go tow an RV that I actually tried to tow a couple weeks ago uh, with the Zach lift, but the, the tires on it were all rotted to pieces. I didn't want to risk towing it down the highway like that. So we're going to pull the Zach lift off, hook up to the low bed and go load it on the low bed and then haul it on the low bed. We're actually taking it up to a scrap yard to get scrapped because it's, it's no good anymore. It's at an RV park, a guy's living in it. He got a new one. This one needs to go away, but it doesn't run, so that's why we're, we're hauling it. So uh, that's warming up, and then we're gonna get unhooked. You want to guess your uh, dismount time for that? Uh, what? Uh, about 11 and a half minutes. 11 and a half minutes? I wasn't even hurrying. No. That's super impressive. I, I've done it in under 10, like not filming, not messing with anything else. I have done it in under 10. So it is, if you're like serious about it, 10 minute deal. Remember I said I was going to lose the key for this thing? Yeah. That happened. <laughs> What's that? Getting out of my driveway. Um, I parked it here, not over there where it's supposed to go, because cars are all parked there in my way to swing it around. But now they gotta leave. They're on my way to swing it around. So uh oh. I think I can wiggle out of here. The lights? Yeah. Nice. No, this is the the low bed way of checking tires. When you have the 16 tire ones, you just go all the way across.
locked, of course. Oh. Oh, there's the crank. That's what I need. Oh, wow. Is it going down? It's doing something. It's not going down? I don't think so. It's spinning. Something's happening. Is there a clutch or something? What's the little dingus in front of it do, Casey? In front of your crank. I don't know. Dude. I mean... I don't really have high hopes for this. Uh, there's a banana. That was a banana. There's a problem. What's that? We have to like tow this thing with the rope all the way out to the truck out of this whole place. Uh, yeah. How am I going to drive it? Look at this. This is a... Uh, clearly not going to go up and uh i'd need to get in there to do this and have brakes is this an air brake or a hydraulic brake i hope it's a hydraulic brake i don't know man smart move with the it's, mask this is everything in here is sticky don't like yeah touch I, anything. I didn't bring any gloves with me dude yeah Oh my goodness. Why are there fuel cans on the bed? What's that? Why are there a bunch of fuel cans on the bed? Uh, so, I don't know. That can get broken and shoved down. That's fine. And yeah, this is getting dismantled. So. Oh, shit. See, this is why I didn't want to tow it right here. Uh, it's hydro brake. Hydro? Good. Yeah. These tires will not make the trip. Oh, we got 45 minute drive down the highway. Yeah. More uh, stuff sticking to you? Yeah. That was my little hair. Oh. I don't know what's clean. So I showed up to tow it, and this is what I found. This is why I didn't tow it with the Zach lift. So I was like, boy, I didn't check the rest of it because I, I also had other jobs waiting. And when I realized I wasn't going to be able to tow it, I just took off and did that. I didn't look at anything else. This is dumb. Dude, there's no brakes at all. Straight to the floor. The pedal's got nothing. I bet the master cylinder's rotted out of this thing. I don't even know where it would be in something like this. I don't know, but... I, I, I can't sit there and steer the thing. No, that'd be a job for me anyways. I'm shorter than you. We can't get the truck back in here to load it here. We're, we're like way in this RV yeah. park here. There's no way to get the truck back in. I brought my pickup to go into it with the rope and like pull it out there where we can load it. But and there's no brakes. So what I'd be worried about is drag it with the rope in a pickup is there's like little uphills and downhills through this whole place and there's a whole bunch of other people's much nicer RVs around here. I think it's worth the risk of rolling into one of them. Could we get it with the under underreach on the uh, on the pickup and not pick it up but just attach it to and using the truck's brakes that way? Maybe. Like chain sling it? Yeah. Because it, it'll roll hopefully. If we chain sling off the bumper like sling it it'll that, yeah, because then the truck's the brakes. Right. That is actually a very good option. Keep coming. Keep coming. Yep, right where you're at. Keep coming. Right there. Huh? Hey, that's I've never towed nothing before. Well, before I ever towed anything, I'd never towed nothing before either. So what's the difference? Uh, 
I don't know. Here, <laughs> I'll hold the camera. See what it does. Yeah, get in your truck and tow it. Alright, we're fine now. Yeah. The truck case. You'll see you later. Go ahead, you can bring in an RV with you. <laughs> Alright. Okay. See if it'll go. So I've got a big block of wood in my hands in case it pops off there for some reason. I can wheel chalk it, I guess. Okay, hold up there. All right. We're gonna, um, now that we can get this straight, we're gonna reset this, so. Okay. I'm gonna try to get it as tight as I can up in there. Looks like the ticket. That's about it. Okay. Just take it super easy because if, if something breaks, I want to be able to put that wood block under. Gotcha. Okay, don't turn any sharper than that. Because you'll hit. See, this is why I hired Ethan. So that I didn't have to do the sketchy stuff like this. I could just pass it off on him. Good luck! What? I said good luck! Oh, I thought you said turn left! I, I mean, you can do that too if you want! Yeah, See ya! <laughs> Dude, why do we even bring the low bed? Hit the highway, head up to the scrapyard. Just a little chain sling flat toe. So he's got to swing this. Yeah, this'll do. Hey, I don't care about that tree. Go ahead and hit it if you need. Very well done. That went way better than I thought it was going to. Here's what I would rather do. Instead of trying to get in front of my trailer and back up to it yeah. let me pull up and back up over here you just put this thing right where my trailer is i'll drop the trailer behind it and i'll line the trailer up with it instead of the other way around i think it'd be a lot easier i have more maneuverability than you do so i'll go move out of your way So maybe someday, Casey, when I'm all grown up, I can be like Big Dad. <laughs> I love Big Dad. Big Dad is the man.
Big Dad is everything I wish I could be on YouTube. <laughs> but no, YouTube's got to be family friendly. That's okay, we that's can still why, have fun. That's why Big Dad's been kicked off of YouTube how many times now? I don't know. And for those who know what we're talking about, I have known Big Dad since long before Big Dad was Big Dad. We, we go way back. Hey, do you smell that? What? I think the truck's leaking. The truck? And not the truck, the, the RV. Oh. Oh. I think so. Uh, or so I maybe we sloshed it up for the first time in a long while. We can still go home. It's not too late. If that thing's leaking doo doo juice. I just kept getting whiffs of it. I'm like, mm, I don't know. Was it you or me? I didn't. My my bag's still on. I I've, I've had it like when you're wearing like winter clothes. There's a lot of them. I've had it fall off, but not fall out, and yeah. it's dead, and you don't notice. And then all of a sudden, you're like, uh oh. I'm not looking forward to is it's going to require steering. You want to see if you can back that up to the trailer as close as you can? I can try. Okay. Hey, at least it's got a receiver in the back. I know. I already I looked at that when I. And uh, dollies of sorts. Yeah, hopefully those clear. Yeah. All right. I, I think it is this. Okay. Back it up as square as you can. Oh yeah, you got this. What if you just backed it all the way on the trailer? That's your new challenge in life. Well, I told the last employer that I didn't know how to back up the trailer. <laughs> you need to go that way quite a ways. <laughs> oh. Might be able to see better if uh, the door was shut. Does that help with your whole like mirror thing? Uh, well, I can't. I I can't really see much. Ah, just 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 back it up. We'll figure it out. Go ahead and bring it this way, son. Uh, right. The tail of that this way, yeah. Yep. Those little wheels on the back might help us here. Oh, come on. Keep coming. Keep coming. Stop there. That'll work. Okay. We're gonna have to chalk it there. All right, ease forward a little. See if that'll hold. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna go in there and reluctantly try to turn the wheels back straight. Oh boy. Well, I still have some of the weight here. Actually, I know I can take more of the weight. That's what I'll do. If I unchain this and stick that under the rails, I'll take more of the weight off the front. And then we'll cut to that. We gotta turn a little to get on there, but. Watch that block doesn't hold and it goes railing into the truck. Yeah, right. Huh. 
I'm sorry, truck, <laughs> but I need you for just a minute. <laughs> Hey Casey. Dude. Yep. This is. We and want him to turn a little to the passenger side. Uh, a little bit more. There you go. Good. Good right there? Yep. Okay. Oh, it's so nasty. Yeah, that is, it is seriously gross in there. Look, a lift kit. Yeah, right? Now turn that way. Perfect. Uh, back up a little bit. Right there. Yeah, you'll be so proud. I bought new batteries for the remote. Yeah. Yeah. Got a hole in the package. God <laughs> damn it. So, two part. You think we'll do it, or think we got to go three? Uh, let's try two part and see how we go. How it goes. Super ideal? No. This should technically be on this side, I believe, but I don't care. This will work. Good. Oh, look at that. Ah, easy. I know I might be able to straighten it. Uh, I think I need like straight, straight. It doesn't stick to fiberglass. Ah, oh, that ain't gonna work. Let me go inside. <laughs> I want straight, straight. Gotcha. Totally straight. That's good. Bring it back a little bit. Perfect. We're gonna have to move the rope back. Yeah. Uh, pull straight behind, because now that's high enough, we're not gonna hit this. Okay. Back up and just pull right here. Cool. I think so, I think, I think you can... Uh... There you go. that black truck yeah you know I have a dislike for that truck yeah because it, it cost me so much freaking money and had so many problems in the beginning yeah that that truck is just always tainted in my eyes but if I really think about it once I got done with like ten thousand dollars in repairs of fixing it after I got it from the previous owner it's actually been really good yeah. And it has done a lot of work, like a lot. And it's always done really good. So maybe I should like stop having a bad taste in my mouth from that truck and realize that it's a good truck. I think part of it too, Casey, is anybody can, anybody can build a truck, but you know, take somebody to maintain it and make it right well so. that one that one had so many problems from the previous owner that they screwed up that it was just constantly in the shop and constant problems after buying it so i was i just i hated that truck because it it was always broke down it always cost me a lot of money and i just kept that attitude towards it and i really think about it like well for all these years since it's not done that so 
yeah, it needs maintenance here and there and all that stuff like everything does, but once I got all the previous owner's stupid worked out of it, it's been pretty decent. So maybe it is a good truck. Okay, so I do kind of think when I've been like showing these rings about the kick pull up, I kind of screw up by always showing like a crazy four or five part pull. They work just as good for a normal two to one redirect. And you'll see stuff like that there, that black on them. You'll see that on winch fair leads of every type, everything. That's not rope degradation or rope damage. That's this UV coating in the rip in the rope that makes it the gray color. Because the rope is white, if you really get down to it. That uh the gray is a UV coating. And the UV coating will rub off on stuff. It's not hurting anything, it's not damage, it's not any of that. It's just normal. But the, the beauty of these rings is they're a normal scotch block pulling. Like a two to one, anything simple. But if you ever need to get into more and more and more and step it up to three to one, four or five, you don't need anything else. You can still just use the two rings you have. And you don't have to carry four snatch blocks and a whole bunch of other stuff with like a pulley tile to, to hardly ever need them. barely see Casey. He's in front of me. This fog is nuts. We're just uh, outside of Madras. Let's see if Casey gets uh, inspected here. I have never been through the scales before. I don't know what to do. Looks like we're all clear. Good to go. This is nothing against DOT officers or scale officers in general. I got, I got no problem with that. I, I am all for keeping trucks safe, keeping the roads safe. Fine with me, but that right there was not okay. Uh, to have the scales open when it's that foggy out there and I can't see 100 feet past the end of my trailer. Uh, slowing down to merge into the scales. Cars can't see us till they're right on our bumper. And then we gotta merge back out into highway traffic. Like I said, that'd be able to see 100 feet past the end of my trailer, cars coming up on us. That was that was not okay. I, I want trucks safe, I want roads safe. I'm all for the officers doing that. But that right there was creating a hazard where there didn't need to be one. When that fog rolled in, those scales should have shut down. That was, that was not cool, and I made a mistake by pulling in. I should have just kept going right on by. You want to chase me down, you want to get the number off the side of the truck and send me a ticket, go for it. Uh, I'll argue all day long against the safety of that and I got the dash cams to prove it. So that was not okay, and uh, I should not have pulled into those scales. I won't make that mistake again.
Hey, I'll get in and steer it. You pull that binder out from in front of the wheel. Okay, go ahead. Of course. Yeah. See you later. Oh man. <laughs> Spicy. Yeah. This man does not waste any time. I love this stuff. Way easier than the way we did it. Yeah, right. Well, I can make a loop. Okay. Well, that was cool. See a little bit of destruction at the end of the day. Yeah. It always makes me feel better. Now we're gonna loop around here and uh, let's go to the truck stop and get lunch. Cause that's that's uh, three o'clock, so lunchtime. Yeah. Well, it is early the next morning cause we got home late last night. Uh, so you can see it's very wintry looking out here. I think it's like 24 degrees right now. Got some ice on stuff. Uh, it's supposed to snow later today. And I really hope that it does because that'd be nice to see for once. Uh, I gotta get that fired up and off the trailer. We gotta get this fired up so we can unhook the trailer and put the Zach lift back on it to turn it back into a wrecker because we got some towing to go do today with that, which is not, not gonna be YouTube stuff, just normal towing work. So I'm gonna start getting stuff warmed up and uh, get ready for work once Ethan gets here. But I, I do gotta give props to Ethan. Um, he came up with the idea to hard bar and chain sling that thing, which I had totally overlooked because I was just thinking of towing it the way I was thinking of doing it, and that was causing me not to look at any of the other options. And he came up with the best option, that's what we did, and it worked. So good job, Ethan. And then I also I made him do it. That way if it went wrong, it was his idea, his fault. My insurance, but at least I'd be able to poke fun at him for it. So uh I'm gonna get to work and we'll see you guys next time.